thanks for joining us for another episode of Clem Hill Adventures. Coming to you from Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. Today, after just spending some time hanging out, it's hard to leave this lake, we decided we would go check out some local spots. We found a um, brochure that talked about a waterfall that was only a 45 minute hike. And then we're going to go check out what the locals use for a water slide. Well, we made it to the place with the waterfall, but we only had about 20 minutes before they locked the gate, so we couldn't do that. But they had these old buildings on the property that used to be a trading post many years ago. So we thought we would check that out. It's always nice when you get a surprise and there's more than one thing to do on the grounds. Um, these were some cool old buildings. This one used to be the trading post. And then they had a second stone building on the property that um, I guess they used when uh, they had trouble in the area. They would go to that one instead. I'm not sure if, if that's what was going on or if that's where the owners lived or the helpers or, or what. But it was a pretty cool place. That's an old basement. Yeah, no, no, no. This was built as a militia house to protect any Indian raids. And this was a trading post. Let me see if I can scoot back a little bit and give y'all a better view of the side of the building. There, that's a little better. It's amazing what shape these old buildings stay in. Today things, things seem to fall apart quickly, but these old ones had some craftsmanship put in them, for sure. They got a whole uh, registry of uh, what he had in the house when he built it. Hmm. Let's go check out the registry and see what it says. I'll give you all a good view of it and you all can pause and read it if you want to, but it's basically a list of what was in there probably for tax purposes. I know back in the olden days people didn't really have a lot of doors on the inside um, for closets and things like that because they would get taxed by how many doors they had in the house. I kind of think that's why armoires were so popular back then. The quote up top says, I met two Indian women on horseback driving ten very fat cattle to the station for a market. Let's go over here and see what this other sign says about this building. This was the Militia House building. If you look at the map on here, you'll see the red line and right under it there's a circle. That's where we are on the map right now. Well, this place was pretty cool. I'll turn around and kind of give you all a 360 and give you a good view of the property. I would imagine, other than, you know, how manicured it is now, it's probably a pretty good representation of what it looked back way back when. There's my cute little family waiting on Mama to get done so we can head on out to our next destination. We got to go before they lock the gate. This place was free to come see as well, and so will be the next one. Um, they did have a little donation box to help maintain the place. Our next stop was the right up the road. And this is a place that the brochure said that the locals use it for a natural water slide and swimming hole here in the summer season. It's a little too cold right now and the water seems low. 
but it's still a pretty place. If you're wondering how we find all these free places to go and visit and see, I never pass a um, welcome center on the interstate that's open. Just go in there if you have an idea of what general area you're going to be visiting. Um, look for the parishes, or I'm from Louisiana, so we call them parishes. Look for the counties in and around where you're going, and there's usually some brochures and maps that have some information in it. And then just get on there uh, online and Google those counties and the little towns. And somebody's usually got something posted. Uh, the tourism for that area has something posted that kind of gives you a general idea of things to do in the area. And I find a lot of them that way aren't crowded and they're a free activity. We always see and learn something new. If you're traveling with a big family or some kids, the rest areas are an inexpensive place to make a pit stop. There's not really anything to spend money on. water slide and go swimming because right now it just looks like a good place to bust your booty but if it had more water it looks like it would probably be fun that's it for this episode of Glen Hill Adventures thank y'all for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share our channel thanks y'all